Come to step number three, your big question lies. Once you say metabolic acidosis, you clearly know there's two types of this. You have a high anion gap metabolic acidosis and a normal anion gap metabolic acidosis. Meaning, the moment you come to metabolic acidosis, your next important step as step number three is to calculate your anion gap. And what is an anion gap made of? Your anion gap is serum sodium minus bicarbonate plus chloride. Your normal serum sodium is 140. Your normal bicarb is 24 and a chloride is of 108. So 140 minus 108 plus 24 will give you 132. So 140 minus 132 will give you 8 plus or minus 2. Your normal anion gap is about 8 with plus or minus 2. So it can range from about 6 to 10. But what anion gap is, is a gap that's caused by unmeasured anion. Albumin is a major anion that's present in your blood that's contributing to your anion gap. But there are a lot of other anions that can be produced when you have different conditions that can widen this anion gap. Your third important step is to calculate your anion gap. And if your anion gap is actually elevated, then you call it a high anion gap metabolic acidosis. Whereas if it is a normal anion gap, then you